And hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Corecraft SMP. Now, as I said in the last episode, we have a lot of work to do, so let's get on with it. So the first thing we want to do is get some slime balls for the iron farm I'm planning to build. And of course, I don't know any swamps nearby, so yeah, hmm. I don't know where we are going to find them because, well, I don't have any seeds or maps that can help me. So yeah, uh, I'm basically running blind, which is pretty dumb. Time to spend another three hours just searching for a swamp. So I'm guessing someone decorated this village to look like it's busted. So yeah, um, I, we got lucky because there was a bed here which I could sleep in and that saved me because, well, it was nighttime and me being a dumbass, I forgot the bed. So yeah. Well, now that there's codes here, we might as well get the achievement. Let's go. I actually wonder, can you actually clutch with powder snow? Hold on, we gotta, we gotta go through that again. I'm, I'm guessing the answer is no then. <laughs> Good thing I wasted my heart on that. Oh, you actually can. Never mind then. I guess that means I'm actually bad at clutching. Oh, a dark oak forest. I guess I could stop for a bit and get some saplings. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. But my axe is pretty low though, so I'm hoping I can chop down this tree with it. And of course. Get away. <laughs> Best PvP in the country, boys. Alright, I see a ruined portal and can we get another notch apple? I mean the expectations and the chances for it are pretty low, but can we go two for two? I guess not. So the bad news is I didn't find the swamp yet, but at least I can have fun with the ice a little bit. Boy, I'm wasting so much time on this. Alright, I see another ruined portal in the distance. Let's see what we can get. And also, I haven't found the swamp yet. But I won't give up hope. Not just yet. And let's see. Well, it's a golden apple, so... Back to the boat. Let's check this out. Um, I hope for some diamonds at least. Uh, oh great, a clock. That that's that's what I always wanted. And I'm gonna drown. Okay. Probably mark the chords for this. I don't want to lose the chords of an ancient ocean. Ancient ocean. I don't want to lose the chords of the ocean monument, so yeah, better keep those in mind. Alright, I guess I am going to find this treasure today anyway, so... That doesn't look promising, does it? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, I'll take that. Okay. I'm fine with that. I can live with that. Time to check out this buried treasure map and as I can see, it seems it seems that it's here and I don't think it has been discovered yet or it has. Great. Oh, how? Hmm. Wait, is, is, does this have something to do with chunks? It's pretty in the middle, so I'm guessing it does. Another heart of the sea, water breathing, I, I'll take that. And some food. Um, what do we don't need? A uh, craft table. Alright, I, I guess that's okay. We have two hearts of the seas, but I only needed one, so yeah. Time to search for the swamp biome, which seems to be nowhere near. So, right about after I spent three hours for searching and finding a swamp. I found a swamp when one of the members of the Corecraft SMP showed me. Now 
After that, I found a chest which had slime balls in it. I made a deal with the person who owns the chest, which was brief, and I got those slime balls for two diamonds. Now I have exactly eight, so that's basically enough for the iron farm. And I also traded and got two name tags. Now this means that we only need two name tags more, and it also means that I have wasted three hours of my life for nothing. So yeah, it's I love my life. So it's time to build a farm. Now the only problem is the server has been closed for like a few days and almost a week. So that means I couldn't upload the video for the weekend. I'm really sorry guys, uh, I promise it won't happen again. I, I really just had a lot of stuff with school and didn't have time to make a whole new video because I already started recording this and then in the middle of it a lot of stuff has happened so yeah. Well, there goes my YouTube consistency. Now I have to actually build a farm and I realized I don't have quartz so, so I have to go to build a nether portal now. I hate nether because it's really dangerous and the most biome that I hate because I lost a lot of my stuff in there and yeah, <laughs> I really don't want to go there often until I have good gear so yeah, uh, I'm just getting some quartz and then exiting out. So because I figured I have all the stuff that I need basically except two name tags and 12 beds and composters, uh, we can actually start building this thing. Now one thing's for sure, this thing is gonna look ugly. Now the reason for that is because, well, I didn't have time to gather any resources, so I'm using what I have, so that means it's gonna be a mix of cobblestone, deep slate and whatever other block I can find, but actually this time I think I might just get through with cobble deep slate till the end but I'm not sure so yeah uh, this is this is gonna look really ugly and I'm also gonna try to save a lot of resources as you can see there are gaps here which I haven't filled in because well golems can't go through them so yeah it doesn't matter anyways but I'm gonna fill them at some point so yeah I'm really poor at this point so, as you can see, I've been a little busy and the top of the farm is now finished. Now, this is the most simple part and it usually takes the less amount of time. The biggest amount of time is transporting the villagers. Now, that is such a pain in the ass. The only difference now is that I have done it a thousand times. So, yeah, I got this. So, basically what I did is... As you can see, I made a bridge, rails and a water elevator. Now, what you do here is you connect all the beds. You, you just have to get the villagers in first. And you do it by making a water elevator and a little platform like this. And then just let them walk. Uh, at the end of the day, the, they're just gonna pile up at some point. And yeah. Uh, they're gonna walk into their beds at night and we're all ready and set. Now I just have to be quick enough to get all 12 villagers in their beds, so yeah. So the good news is the farm is complete but halfway. Now the problem is we don't have 4 name tags, we only have 2. So we can't finish the farm yet, but the good thing is it works. I have speed, which is pretty okay, I guess, and that's good because we can actually use that iron to get the other two name tags. Now, as some of you know, uh, name tags can be get by librarian villagers, and we need emeralds for that. And we can get emeralds from trading with smiths, so they will give us emeralds for iron, and we'll use the, those emeralds to buy those two name tags so what i'm gonna do is just get two villagers and quickly get two more uh i guess name tags and i'll see you guys when i'm actually done with the farm i can say with full confidence that this farm is now finally complete it took so many hours but i finally done it so i guess that's it i mean i did quite a lot although it's gonna seem 
like little because <laughs> well the video is gonna last like 13 minutes and this whole thing took hours to build so yeah um the only problem is uh i haven't released the video last week and that's because as i said the server was closed down and i also was busy with schools but now i'm holiday so that means more youtube content than usual or actually in the same type just it's gonna be more in the videos i promise guys i really promise i guess that's it i think this is the, my last video this year uh my next video is probably gonna come out right after the new year so yeah so yeah i want everyone a merry christmas and a happy new year and i'll see you in the next one see ya